Hello everyone, welcome to the Unistellar channel. Thank you for being here. In this first video, we're going to talk about how to do a quick setup straight out of the box with your Equinox 2. This is what we call a quick start guide, so there's really nothing complicated here. It's going to take a few minutes, and at the end, we're going to be able to see galaxies and nebulae. So if you like this video, don't forget to give thumbs up and leave a comment. Don't hesitate to share the video, and lastly, don't forget to subscribe, because there's going to be other tutorial videos so if you're ready to discover the wonders of the night sky, let's go! Let's do it! We'll start with the installation. We're going to remove the tripod and open the legs to their maximum setting. Make sure to be careful of strong wind and unstable ground. Once you have adjusted the height, the first thing we're going to do is set up this bubble level. So what does this guy do? Well, it's going to let us verify that the tripod is completely leveled. Make sure that the bubble is centered in the middle of the black circle by moving or adjusting the legs as you need. Verify the bubble level every time you move your telescope. Don't forget to close them properly to make sure it is secured. Now we're going to untighten the screws at the crown of the tripod. So you want to take your Equinox 2 by the base and gently just pop it in. And then you want to tighten up your screws to make sure it's fixed well. Be careful not to tighten too hard as it may damage the thread. Don't forget to take off the top cover. Now your Equinox 2 is installed. You can switch it on by pressing on this button for two seconds. You're going to see a purple light for about five seconds, and then it's going to turn red. When it's red, it means your Equinox 2 is ready to go. So now that you've got the Equinox 2 installed, let's talk about the connection between your smartphone or tablet and the Equinox 2. Depending on which phone you've got, if it's an iPhone, you're going to download it from the App Store. If it's an Android, you're going to download it from Google Play. And you're going to download the Unistellar application. With the application, we're going to be able to control the Equinox 2, make observations, and save images. You're going to be able to share them as well. Once you download the application, you're going to be able to connect it with the Equinox 2. To do this, it couldn't be simpler. You go to the settings on your phone, look for Wi-Fi, and connect to the Equinox 2 network. You should be able to see a network named Equinox 2 followed by six random characters. Really important, if you see no internet connection, this is totally normal. The Equinox creates a Wi-Fi network, but it's not an internet connection. However, you've still got an internet connection on your phone with 3G, 4G, or 5G, just not Wi-Fi. One thing though, if you're on Android, you must be on at least version 9.0, otherwise the message, no internet connection, is correct. So now that the Equinox 2 is connected with your smartphone, we can launch the application. Here's what we see when we launch the app for the very first time. Geolocation. The Equinox 2 uses this to know where it is and what it's looking at when pointing at the sky. Local network. Because you're now connected to the telescope Wi-Fi, this is the telescope network, so you can safely say, yes, allow. By selecting don't allow, your smartphone will not be allowed to connect to the telescope and you will not be able to control it. Push notifications. This will allow the app to send you notifications. Access to photos. This will allow you to save photos of your observations on your phone. The first thing you see is the catalog. This is also the first icon on the bottom of your screen. Here you can find thousands of deep sky objects. Just scroll down to explore the library. Select an object to open its information. You can scroll up to get more information, like the constellation in which it's located, and much more. You'll also find the Go To button. As soon as you click on it, the Equinox 2 will move towards the object. You can view objects only visible to you by selecting Visible Sky Area, or all of them when Visible Sky Area is turned off. You can filter the object by type, galaxies, nebulae, or planets, and also sort them by recommendation or proximity to where the telescope is pointing. Let's have a quick look at the other icons. The second one is called Science, and this is really interesting. You can participate in scientific astronomical observations, such as asteroid occultations, exoplanet transit, planetary defense, cometary activity, and cosmic cataclysms. But we're gonna talk about this in another video. 
The third icon is Gallery. This is where you can save your images and share them with your contacts or on social media. This is also where you'll be able to find information about the objects you've observed and the observing conditions. Directly above the Gallery icon is the Equinox icon, where you control your Equinox and view your observations. This icon is very important because this is where you're going to spend most of your time. The last icon you need to know is the settings icon. Here you'll find many settings related to your telescope like sensor calibration, image saving options, battery life, storage capacity, and much more. For now let's go back to the telescope icon and observation screen. You have three icons here. Included on that screen you have two big areas of interest. The observation window and the controls area. The observation window is where you'll see the objects you're observing and where you'll find the Equinox Orientation button. The Controls area is where you'll find a shortcut to the catalog and icons to start the enhanced vision, and one to save your image on either side of the catalog. Above those three icons are predefined zoom levels, and below are two buttons, one to show the in-app joystick and move the telescope, and the other to edit the observation window settings like brightness or contrast. First, let's go ahead and click on the Move button at the bottom. It will display the in-app joystick, which will allow you to move your Equinox 2. You can hold and drag it, and the Equinox 2 will move in the direction you want. Activate the slow mode to move it really slowly. This is very useful when you need to recenter an object in the middle of the screen. With the in-app joystick, you're going to be able to lower your Equinox 2 to around 45 degrees so that you can see stars on your phone. It should be really easy, but if you don't see stars right away, move your joystick until you do. As soon as you see stars, you're going to check the focus by turning the focusing wheel located at the bottom of your Equinox 2. To get the best focus possible, you need to align the visual cue with the top screw, not the left one, the top one. One thing though, even if you've got the visual cue aligned with the top screw, this may not give you the best focus, so play around with it until you get the best focus. If you want to learn how to have the best focus possible, be sure to check our videos on how to do the mirror alignment and how to use the Batinov mask. Now you should be able to see really sharp stars on your smartphone. It should look like this. This one is out of focus. This one is sharp. This is where you can press on the button that says Equinox 2 Orientation. Thanks to this, the Equinox 2 will analyze the sky, it will recognize the stars, and it will be able to find many objects on its own. It shouldn't take more than 15 seconds, and that's really amazing. If it doesn't work the first time, use your joystick to move the Equinox 2 to another part of the sky and try again. When it's done, the message, Orientation Successful, will appear. So things are getting serious now. Now that the Equinox 2 knows where it is, you're going to be able to find some really cool objects in the sky. Let's talk about the catalog. Here, you can access thousands of night sky objects. Obviously, not all night sky objects are visible all the time. As you know, the Earth turns, so the sky moves. That's why the app shows you only what's available right now. One galaxy might be visible at 11 p.m., but not at 4 a.m. Depending on the time, the day, the season, you won't see the same things on the list. To start, you can choose the first objects on the top of the list. These are the most famous and beautiful fun objects your Equinox 2 can see right now. The screen will display information including your best friend, the Go To button. As soon as you hit this button, the Equinox 2 will go to this nebula. It only takes a few seconds. So now we're going to talk about the Observe and Enhance features. When you observe an object with the Equinox 2, you have two ways to see it, two different modes. Right now, you're in the Live View mode. You're watching the sky live. The Edit button on the bottom will allow you to adjust the gain and the exposure time. But where the Equinox 2 is a real marvel is when it makes the transition between live view and enhanced vision. Once the telescope has located an object, either manually or after having used the Go To buttons, you're going to be able to activate the enhanced vision by clicking on the icon with the stars next to the catalog icon. At this moment, the Equinox 2 will make the almost invisible really visible. Wait a few seconds and you'll be able to see nebulae and galaxies in all their splendor. You can even wait two to three minutes and it'll give you better results. 
You'll still be able to work with the contrast, the brightness, and the zoom. Keep in mind that the contrast and brightness will take a few seconds to be implemented to the images you see on your phone or tablet. After two or three minutes, you're going to have some amazing results on your smartphone. The enhanced vision is also adapted for the moon and planets, especially Jupiter. But it is deep sky objects that benefit the most of the enhanced vision technology. It's been made for that. When you see an image that you really like, you can save it by clicking on the Save Image icon with the camera on it. To access it, close the Equinox 2 window and go to Gallery. Enhanced vision will continue even if you navigate away from the observation window. And for each image that you click on, you have the option to share it with this icon here. Okay, let's end this video with the last step. This is called the Park Mode. Once you've finished your observations, you have the option to park your Equinox 2, and to do that, nothing's easier. Let's go to the Settings icon at the top right corner. Here, click on My Equinox 2, and you'll have access to a lot of different settings and options. Notice the Park option. Once you press this, your Equinox 2 will go back to its original vertical position and turn off. And don't forget to replace the top cover. Okay, we're done. We really hope you enjoyed this video and that you've seen how easy it is to use your Equinox 2. We've got more detailed videos coming up soon that are going to help you optimize your observations. This video was just an introduction. We've got many more things to discover. So subscribe to the channel and click the notification button. That way you'll be notified of new videos that arrive. You can also find all the help you need on our page, help.unistellar.com. Thank you very, very much from Unistellar, and we'll see you soon.